parts of the stage. So I've already explained your upstage, downstage, stage left, stage right, etc. But there are some other parts of the stage that you may need to know. The wings. The wings are simply the side of the stage and off, sort of backstage if you like. So they're most of your entrance and your exit. Those um, often flaps at the side of the stage, those are your wings. The flies. If you're lucky enough to perform in a space that has flies, easy to remember, flies in the sky. The flies are above you and that's where scenery may come in from. Um, that's where if somebody's coming down from a wire, they will come from, from the flies. So you've got the wings, the flies. You may also have uh, an apron and this comes out a little into the um, auditorium space. It just comes out of that proscenium arch or that fourth wall. Not very far because that would be a thrust. See my types of stage video if you need to know about that one. So the apron, if there is one, that is just the apron, the front bit of the stage that sticks out a little way. So you've got wings, flies, apron. Another thing that students often need to know about is the cyclorama which is just a posh name for a piece of white, usually cloth, usually tough fabric at the very back of the stage. Um, there may still be space behind that for people to get around the stage, but this is usually used to project onto. It may be colours from the top or from the bottom. Um, it may be a full scale projection of video or images. So you project onto the cyclorama. If you're lucky enough and there's space, you can also back project onto some of these cloths and get some really clever tricks going on there. Um, it may be just a painted white wall and that also works really, really well to allow any of those different lighting techniques to glow throughout the whole stage. So in summary, some of your basic parts of the stage are the wings, the flies, the apron and the cyclorama. I hope that helps you.